Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a magnify effect to the images in your website. So here we can see we have this image right here and if I hover over this image, we can magnify the image. So we're going to create this effect using a library called magnify.js. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I have created this folder called magnify and I have a folder called images over here and in that we have these two images. This is a thumbnail image so it doesn't have much quality and this is the full image so it has higher resolution. So we're going to use these two images in our project. Right now let's also create an HTML file and also a CSS file. So let's click on new file and we'll just name it index.html and we'll also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. Alright, let's go to our index.html file and uh, in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Alright, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab and in the HTML file just type style or CSS. Alright, now the next thing we will do is we will get the link of the Magnify.js library. So you can just search for Magnify.js on Google and you'll find this website. I will also leave the link of this website in the description. And this is the home page of the Magnify.js library. And uh, if you scroll down, we can see that there are some demos and uh, all these things. You can go ahead and check them out. And if you scroll down, we can see that there are some things we need to include in our file. The first thing is the magnify.css file. And then we need to include jQuery because Magnify.js uses jQuery. And then lastly, we need to include the magnify.js file. And then we can see there's also an optional mobile plugin that we can use. So it is called magnify-mobile.js. So let's get the CDN link of all of this. So let's go to cdnjs.com. You can find a link over here or you can just search for cdnjs on Google. And here we can see we are on the page of magnify. You can just search for magnify.js over here and get to this page. All right, the first thing we will do is get the CSS file. So I'll just copy this link of magnify.min.css from here. So let's click on copy link tag. And let's go back to our HTML file. And I'll just paste it over here inside the head section. All right, now the next thing we will do is get the link of magnify.js. So let's go back. And uh, here we have jQuery.magnify.min.js. So let's copy this link. And let's go back and paste it over here just before the body ends. And we also need to copy the link of jQuery. So let's go back and let's search for jQuery over here. And let's click on jQuery. And let's copy this link. So I'll just click on this copy script tag. And let's paste it over here just before the link of magnify.js. Right now let's start with the markup of our design. So we'll just create a division with a class of card. And in that we will have a heading. So I'll just tap chessboard with pieces. And the next thing you have to do is create an anchor tag. And uh, here in the href you have to provide the link of the full image. So here I'll just type images forward slash full image dot jpg. And then in the anchor tag you need to have the img tag. So let's type img. And in the src you have to provide the link of the thumbnail. So let's type images forward slash thumbnail. Right now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see this is how our design looks right now. Let's add some CSS. So let's go to our style.css file and uh, first of all, let's target the card. And we will set a width of 400 pixels. And we'll also add a padding of, uh, let's say, 24 pixels. And we'll also add a box shadow of 0 pixels, 4 pixels, 40 pixels, negative 8 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.2. And uh, we'll also add a margin of 24 pixels top and bottom and auto for left and right so that it is in the center. Right now, let's add some styles to the image. So here, I'll just type card, IMG. And we'll set the width of the image to 100% of the parent. And I will also style this heading. So let's type card h2. And uh, let's set a font family of Roboto. 
and let's set the color of the text to dark gray and we'll text transform it to uppercase and uh, we'll also set the font weight to 900 all right that's it with the css now the last thing we need to do to add the magnify effect is to add a class so let's go back to our html and uh, here for the image we need to add a class and we need to set the class to zoom and we need to do one more thing so let's go back to our magnify.js website and if you scroll down we can see that we need to call the magnify function so let's copy this script tag from here and let's paste it over here just before the body ends now here we can see we are accessing the zoom class which we have added over here now if you add a different class name over here you have to change that over here as well all right now let's go back and uh, let's go to our website and now let's hover over this image and now we can see that we can magnify the image and everything is working all right so that's basically how you add magnify effect to the images in your website now if you go back to the magnify.js website and if you scroll down we can see that there are some options that we can add to the magnify function so for example we can add the speed and if you scroll down we can see that all the options are displayed over here so you can go ahead and test out all these options over here i just test this option called speed so let's go back to our index.html file and here in the magnify function we need to pass an object so let's create an object and uh, let's type speed and uh, for testing let's set it to 500 and uh, let's go back to our web page and now if you hover over this we can see that we have 500 milliseconds for showing and removing the magnifying glass let's increase it and let's see how it looks let's type 1500 and now we can see it is even slower so that's how you can add different options to the magnifying effect or right, let's set it back to let's try 200 and uh, that looks all right so that's basically how you add a magnify effect to the images in your website all right so that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day